Yo guys, welcome to another 10 things you may not know about that have been added into FC25. You bored of having this stuff? Make it a beast team. We'd obviously getting yourself on the description below. Get yourself to use 7 buy. Get yourself some cheap reliable coins and don't forget to use king with a cheeky six percent off right let's get into the video so guys welcome to another video where we talk about things that have been added into eafc 25 that you may not know about i know a lot of hardcore fans may already know what's going on but yeah there is a lot of new things that they're adding and there might be even more as we continue going through because uh, we've still got two months until fc 25 so let's get into it so the first one that people may not know about is they're adding a daytime cycle. Yes, uh, if you end up with an afternoon game, uh, dynamic times are now going to be a thing. So you start off in the day, uh, and normally like a quarter to five kickoff, stuff like that. It goes to a night time, so the, t the lights will come on, the, the, the atmosphere will change. So that's going to be interesting. I don't think everybody is bothered too much about that, but that's something that they're adding into this year's game. Now, number two on the list might be really interesting for quite a few people. We're going to have to talk about this a bit. We now have something called player roles. So they're kind of like play styles, uh, but instead of being on the ball with play styles, these are off the ball. Um, so at the moment, there's not loads we can talk about, but yeah. So um, the roles dictate how players move off the ball. Um, so basic role uh, is players can play in this position. No issues, nothing too special about that. Then we've got role plus... Uh, which is players accomplished in this position. Uh, so real world data apparently is based on something like that. Means that the players just play better. And it's more like, I think it's like a chem boost or something like that. I'm, we're not 100% sure in stuff like that. Um, and then we have role plus plus, which is world class players in this position. Um, every So apparently every player has at least one role plus to do with what position they have but there's only a few players will have the role plus plus to start off in the game obviously that's because they're only basing that on world class players and not everyone can be like that so yeah um player roles is going to be more interesting as we learn more about it but that's all we pretty much know about so far for number three a lot of people might enjoy this one contracts has now been removed i mean that one didn't bother me i didn't mind contracts because you pretty much got them in packs all the time so yeah, no new contracts in EAF, no contracts at all, sorry, in EAFC 25. Number four, I know a lot of people are probably going to be interested in this one. Custom tactics for corners have now been added, which is good because it's not because we're sick to see sick to death of seeing the same boring corner tactics that people use all the time. Um, it'll be nice to see what it's going to be like having your players where you want them to be so you actually got a chance of scoring and it means we get to see different corners be corner tactics being used from everyone instead of the same old same old number five blue cards are being added into rush yes if you guys don't know much about blue cards they are being thought about bringing into the actual game of football um is like a sin bin type thing um you get a blue card you get a timeout basically uh, there's not really any there's not much detail about how long you get time that for, but Rush, blue cards are being added into the new game. Rush. For all you guys who use skill moves in EAFC, number six, you're going to like that. Uh, there is five new additional skill moves that are being added into FC25. Uh, we've got the toe drag step over, the big fence. I have no idea what that is. Uh, the step over ball. It's just another, it sounds like another fun version of a step over. Uh, the heel nutmeg. Mmm. Yay. And the drag turn. Interesting. So yes, new skill moves that are being added into FC25. So Maradona has been confirmed to be back into EAFC25, which I know a lot of you will be happy about. I'm happy about it because I remember using Maradona uh, back in 22. Was it 22? It might have been 22. I yeah, it might be 23, I'm not sure. Uh, there is other icons and heroes that are being tested. Not confirmed yet, but being uh, tested. We got Totti, Zapstam, Turan, Robin, Nakamura, Dobol, uh, Aguero, of course, Hazard, Platini, Guti. I think Guti's been confirmed. 
uh, Stapleton and Mycon. I think Mycon may have been confirmed as well. So their new heroes and icons being tested, but Maradona is definitely confirmed. A lot of you who love doing friendlies because we have a load of objectives. Uh, it's not skill-based matchmaking with rivals, so rivals and friendlies will not be the same thing. So whatever rival level division you used to be in in FC25, you ended up playing like that division, a division up, or division lower. Won't be like that for friendlies. There's not 100% confirmation how they're working the friendlies, uh, like matchmaking, but. Rivals and friendlies matchmaking will be completely separate, which is good to see and I know a lot of people will be happy about that And we finish off with pro clubs. There's a lot to talk about in pro clubs, which is good to see uh, We're gonna start off with the max height has been reduced. I think it was six foot seven It's now six foot five for your max height in pro clubs, which I think is good because um, If you guys have ever played pro clubs and you just end up playing a six foot seven player, especially with um Aerial plus you just pretty much can't get you can't get to it at all Um there is other things as well that have, that have been added. I'm just going to towards it um, We're just going through it. Yeah, so uh, relegation matches are back So it's like division rivals again in pro clubs, which is good because I didn't like the way you can They kept refreshing and you had to go from five to one. I'm hoping they do ten to one doesn't they haven't confirmed that it's from ten to one again in division rival uh, in pro clubs, but Relegation matches will be back in pro club, so that's good to see. Um, a new menu. Uh, they're getting red, red, like they're getting rid of the static menu. They're adding a clubhouse menu, so like dressing room type thing and more interactive. I'm guessing when you're chilling, waiting for people to come on, you can just. It looks a bit more attractive. I don't know, but yeah, they're getting rid of the the static menu. You're now going in what they're calling a clubhouse for pro clubs. So yeah, uh, the main one which I know a lot of people will love, they are introducing another Playstyle Plus. Uh, obviously this year it was two. You can now unlock three Playstyle Pluses this year on Pro Clubs, which is a dub for me. Hey, we do like a cheeky bit of extra, uh, extra stuff on Pro Clubs. Uh, they're doing a shortcut menu, uh, similar to uh, UT, like obviously you press L1 is it? I can't remember. Uh, basically there's a top menu where you can just press it, it'll take you to whatever specific one you want to go to. So. Uh, yeah, that's all right. Um, but yeah, also the other thing they're adding in uh, rush mode. Uh, obviously, rush mode is ultimate team and in clubs. Uh, you use your own player in rush, and it, obviously you improve. You can improve your your avatar player pro. Take your pick, what you want to call it. Um, it goes towards your progress of that and your clubs. So yeah, a lot of good stuff they're adding for pro clubs. Hopefully we get a lot more added, but there you go. There is 10 more things that you may not know what is being added into EAFC. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys maybe in the next video or stream. Um, and hopefully we find out more stuff about EAFC in the coming weeks. I'll see you guys later. Take it in, obviously. Peace.